morning guys. So welcome to the weekend vlog. I will start off by showing you guys my outfit. I am wearing a Banana Republic blouse that I showed in my, in my fall haul. And I'm also wearing this really cute velvet kimono that I stole from my mother's closet, which I think she got last year. It is Vince Camuto. Um, I'll try to find it, but if not, I think it might have been a last year find. And then I'm wearing the STS blue black pants I always talk about. I'll link everything that I can down below. And my Sam Edelman flats. So that's what I'm wearing. Hello guys. So it is Friday late afternoon, about 6.15. 6? 6? Thanks, 6. So happy it's Friday. I wanted to talk to you guys sitting down. I was able to finalize every last little thing that I needed for my student visa. So I think I've like gone on and on about this, but I forget like what I've shared on the vlog and what I've shared like on Instagram stories. Like, I guess, I don't know, it just depends on what I've been sharing, but it's a really, really intense process to get your student visa because obviously like the country that you're going to wants to make sure that you are like a good candidate for them to accept you. Like, into their country to live there for a year so I mean I don't know if you guys are have ever had to go through that process or I don't know I mean it's something that I had thought oh I got into school like it's gonna be super easy just getting the visa nope it's been such a process but I thankfully have every all the documents needed and they require an in-person appearance to whichever embassy that your state like applies to so for example the Washington DC one covers North Carolina. So that's why I have to go to DC. Like it doesn't, you don't pick which embassy you go to. So that's why I'm going to Washington DC. But the good thing is that I kind of get to kill two birds with one stone and get to see some of my best friends who like I just saw last weekend, which is awesome. Um, my best friend Monica lives there and I get to see her kids who I haven't seen since March. So I'll be able to see her beautiful little girls. I'm so excited to see them. And then I'll get to see um, my good friend Staxi and Sonia as well. And yeah, it's just good. At least it's not somewhere where I go and then I don't know anyone and I'm like miserable the whole time. But I'm going to be flying there on Sunday, so I'll include that in the weekend vlog. I'm trying to make the weekend vlog a little bit more exciting. I don't really know what else I can show you guys. Uh, but if you guys have any suggestions of what you guys would want to see in the weekend vlog, I feel like I just keep showing you guys the same things, like same Trader Joe's hauls, like same like car vlogs, same like whatever it might be, get ready with me's. I'm just like, I don't, I'm so sick of like editing the get ready with me's. Like, I'm just like, I don't want to like, I mean, if I don't want to see myself, I'm like, I'm sure you guys don't want to see it. So let me know what you guys would want to see. Um, or if you guys want to see like more fashiony things, every time I say this, people usually say more outfits and more food. So I will try to do that. But if you, there's anything else specifically you would want to see, let me know. Like I, I want to like be able to do the content that you guys would like to see. So I'm actually wearing this um, sweater from my friend Jen, um, LNM. Pretty popular sweater, but I know she just restocked it, so I'll link it down below. It's so comfy and so like cuddly, and I love that it's like sweatshirt sweater weather, finally, because it's been so hot, guys. Like, I said this in my fall haul, but it just like came to be fall last week, or maybe this week even, so. It feels so nice and I went over to my friend Julianne's house yesterday and we were both like it smells like fall like you guys know that smell like crisp air a little bit of like fire burning it smells so good it reminds me of like Halloween and like my childhood once that is over I feel like I'm gonna feel so much more calm and at ease because right now I'm literally a giant ball of anxiety just because I'm like, I just need to get that over with. I don't know, I, I tend to like fixate on one thing where I know it'll be fine, I know I'll get it done. I'm, I'm doing good time with it too, like I know that it'll be fine, but I don't know, I just feel like I'm like stressed out about it for some reason. I not shop anymore because I can't take that much with me, like I really can't. So I'm trying to be really, really good. I have like, you know, we have the Sephora sale coming up soon and I literally have the tiniest list. I'm gonna have the smallest haul ever. I say that now and then you guys are gonna be like, yeah, right, Pam, she's gonna order a ton of stuff. But <laughs> I have like only like six things on my list and I'm really gonna try to stick to it. I can't take it. Like I really can't take it. So a lot of stuff like I'm gonna have to end up 
buying over there like I'm gonna probably take like my skincare I like and some makeup like not all of my makeup that's impossible to take all my makeup um and then like all my clothes like there's just so much guys and if you have any tips or tricks or anything if you have uh recently moved like cross country or put your stuff into storage for a year or something I really would appreciate any advice because I literally have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> uh, but thankfully I'm I have my amazing family and my mother is like I don't know what I would do without her she's coming with me to Madrid um, so she's like I'll I'll take an, a bag for you uh, so we're gonna like leave together and she's gonna help me like set up my apartment and all of that stuff because she's just so good at that stuff like I I like have I think I have like good taste when it comes to like interior design but I have a hard time putting it all together like I'll be like I know I like that couch or I know I like that rug and I know I like that piece of furniture but I don't know how to, to all put it together and once I come back from Spain which is the plan I've gotten some questions that yes I want to I want to come back I want to continue working in my family's business that's why I'm going to get my master's and but I don't want to like specifically say what I'm going to be doing after um, not that it's like I don't know I just I feel like it's like a personal thing I figure that that all out and I have a few things up my sleeve I have I feel like once I'm there it'll clarify things whether I want to go one route or another and I think that happens a lot in business school like you know you go in thinking oh I'm gonna do consulting or whatever and then you end up doing something completely different which I have some friends who are in business school who that's how they've done it and they've been like it completely changed my mind like once I was like in in the school and already like a few months into the program then you're like oh crap well I wanted to do this or that yeah so there's a lot to plan guys and I I, I do like kind of want to say like I mean I plan on vlogging or doing YouTube as much as I can uh, obviously I'll still be like Instagramming and all of that like I that's not gonna go away um, but it's gonna be like a big change and a big like transition in my life so just bear with me while this whole thing happens it's something really exciting for me and I'm happy I can like document it you know that's another reason of why I like doing YouTube anyways so yeah I'm actually going over to my sister Natalie's house I stay there tonight we're gonna cook watch some Halloween movies like do like a fun fall night in, have some wine, and yeah, so I'm excited to have a fun sister night with her, and then tomorrow I think we're gonna do brunch, so I'll take you guys along. Some bubbly, and a cook, and a salad. It's a wiggle over here. Making some roasted veggies, some champagne, and it's a wiggle. Hi! Cooking some chicken, some veggies. Skinny. No, I don't. Thank you, though. Hair is weird. I need a haircut. No, it looks good. I need like a. up for 
the Insta. Do it for the gram. Oh, my is mine in it? Yeah, you're okay. Good morning guys, I am waiting for my Uber to come get me and head to the airport. I'm wearing a Vince cashmere sweater, AG jeans, and my Sam Edelman um, little flats. So that's what I'm wearing for the airplane. It's really bleeding out. <laughs> Well, 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 I made it to Washington, D.C. I'm actually at one of my favorite hotels in the entire U.S., which is the Ritz in D.C. And don't think I'm bougie. Honestly, I had like a ton of Expedia points. And usually I like definitely, if I'm traveling by myself, don't stay at the Ritz. But it was actually like the same price as like the Westin and a few other like hotels that are like lower rating. So I just was like, whatever, YOLO, I'm going to stay at the Ritz and I love it here. Um, my friend Sonia had her Indian wedding here, and then we've stayed here before too uh, for my friend Caitlin, who just got married last weekend, her like 30th birthday. Uh, we all spent it here and it was really fun. So let me show you guys around. I'll give you a hotel room tour. I have the Deluxe King. It's amazing. I cannot wait to sleep here. <laughs> it's such an amazing hotel. Um, I love they have like uh, Netflix, Hulu, YouTube. Really blessed to be here. This is my little view, Walgreens. I remember I was really hungover at Sonia's wedding because we had a like sangeet the night before and it was like a very alcohol induced evening and I like ran to that Walgreens to get like Gatorade and Alka-Seltzer and Pepto-Bismol the next day because I was not feeling great. Um, so there's a little gas station. I'm gonna walk around because I'm gonna meet up with my friends not until 12.30 and it's only like, I think only 11. What time is it even? Or where can I even tell? Yeah, it's 11.12, so I am, I have time. I'm gonna go probably get a coffee, walk around, enjoy this beautiful, beautiful DC day. I'm so glad I came here early. I love the Navy, I love everything. It's so elegant, just so beautiful. The bathroom is, Heaven sent, honestly. It is amazing. I love it so much. Marble, marble everywhere. Definitely gonna take a bath tonight. And what else am I gonna do? Hello, toilet, shower. Just living life, guys. Living life. And I honestly wish I had this mirror to take outfit pictures every day. I love it. So that's what, still wearing this. I don't think I'm gonna change because it's pretty gloomy outside, but I will take you guys along. You're probably gonna be like, Pam, get new clothes, because I wear the same thing over and over again. Did I, sh I showed this to you guys this morning. I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, I'm wearing my Walter Hobbs coat. I think I mentioned that already, that my sister called me Walter Hobbs. <laughs> and I was editing my fall vlog on, or fall vlog, fall haul on the plane. So hopefully I'll have that up. Ooh, so sneak peek. Thank you. Okay, should we pass some flour, Rosie? Do you got two drinks, Monica? No. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Got <laughs> it? Cheers. This bathroom is amazing. So, it is Monday morning. I'm getting ready to go to the embassy. I'm watching some Lydia Elise Millen. I ordered some coffee and I'm like about to steam my shirt that I'm gonna wear. It's like a Vince silk switch. What the heck? Um, but I ordered some coffee and berries. Really, really good. 
I'm gonna order something else, but I don't know, probably eat something after. Seriously, so beautiful. Out in Georgetown. So I actually realized I never ended the weekend vlog that I mean kind of spanned through many many days But I wanted to hop on and say thank you for watching and also the fact that I got all of my student visa stuff out of the way So I'm so thankful uh, and I've actually started to make a few friends that are doing the program at the same time with me uh, through Facebook through this like group that we've done so I'm getting really excited there's so much to plan uh, but I I feel a little bit better now that I have the visa done with and then I thankfully have great family friends in Madrid that are helping me with my apartment search it's gonna be so different guys like the the way that we live in the United States is so different compared to anywhere else and just like all these apartments like they're like so like just the complete opposite of my apartment right now um just like older and like they have so much more character like I love my apartment right now but it's just like it's so like you can plop that apartment and put it anywhere in the United States and be like oh yeah you know that's what all like nice modern apartments look like um so I'm I'm pretty excited about living in like a cool like older place and I'm just really looking forward to this like exciting chapter in my life and so I'm looking forward to sharing what I can with you guys I've gotten a lot of questions on whether I'm gonna be vlogging or what my situation is gonna be and I honestly just don't know like I don't know if I, I'll probably vlog here and there um, it just it will just depend you know I I'll have completely new friends I'll have I'll be so busy with school it's an accelerated masters in business administration uh, and the, usually those programs are two years if not more if you if you do it part-time so I'm doing it full-time and in one year so it's gonna be very very challenging it's gonna be super fun I know but it's gonna be pretty challenging and I'm, I'm just really looking forward to it um, so I hope that you guys understand that I don't really don't know yet what I'm gonna be sharing guys I will end out the weekend vlog I don't think I'm gonna vlog this weekend but I have a few videos that I want to share with you guys I need to do an updated beauty favorites and then I might film an empties video as well so I'll have a few videos going up sporadically uh, make sure you watch my fall trends haul I'll link that down below with all of the new fun fall stuff that I've been loving and yeah I will talk to you guys another day. Bye, guys.